you can see.
Zubak is a decent center. Maybe getting a more, I don't know, veteran center. Definitely a very high IQ guy as well. And it's Steven Adams. Could end up being pretty good, so I throw in a first round pick to send him off to the Memphis Grizzlies. That's Marcus Morris Sr., that is. And we get back, a, I guess, a starting pick. And this was also a pretty surprising trade I found. Luke Kennard. And yes, the, the, the pick we did get from Memphis, which, by the way, Memphis was going to give us a first round pick for Marcus Morris Sr. That's pretty nice of them. But I'm flipping that pick that we got from that trade, throwing it with Luke Kennard a couple seconds for Markel Fultz. So, hey, looks like the Clippers got a little young stud in himself with Markel Fultz. And, of course, with the Magic having Suggs and also the breakout uh, player in Cole Anthony, I guess they don't really need another guard. Sort of the odd man out, so giving him a starting role over here in Orlando should be pretty nice. I mean, over here in L.A. <laughs> um, taking a look at free agency, uh, as you can see here, we have about, about nearly six mil, more like five and a half, actually, uh, in, in cap space. And although the Clippers do have the rights to a lot of their guys, and again, they have big contracts that can try to match with the trading, uh, I am still going to try to build the team a little bit with free agency. And one thing we are uh, looking for is another sort of forward player. One year that's kind of intriguing is Kyle Anderson. Now, I think we do need more scoring on the team, so I am just going to throw him a contract and see what happens. He's definitely a high overall guy, so maybe he does turn into something pretty nice. But again, I think we need a little bit more of a scoring forward. We already have, you know, Bull, George, Kawhi, Leonard. Good scoring from them. Robert Powell's a pretty decent scorer, but I think having a little bit more shooting would be nice, so I pick up Otto Porter Jr. here for a negotiation. Uh, definitely would be a way better shooter. And Kyle Anderson, I think, I would, I would assume so, at least in 2K he is. But those are my two sort of go-to guys right now for the forward position. Because he can also play the 3 and the 4. Because um, he does that for the Golden State Warriors, and so can Kyle Anderson. But I think the offensive capability would just be a little bit more uh, potent coming from a guy like Otto Porter Jr. So, taking a look, and they actually both agree. But, like I said, I think just fit-wise, I think Otto Porter Jr. just makes a little bit more sense than Kyle Anderson. Again, he kind of plays, uh, I don't want to say plays like Kawhi Leonard, but like, you know what I mean? He just doesn't really have that sort of offensive output that we desperately need. Definitely also coming off the bench. Hopefully, Terrence Mann can really make that jump this next season. I'm going to be basically basically giving him that six-man role and just uh, seeing what he can do with it with all that that the freedom and minute restrictions. But he's not going to have any more. And as you can see there, the, the Washington Wizards pick up uh, Kyrie Irving and then Yusuf Nurkic goes to the Orlando Magic in free agency. That's pretty wild. I've never seen that happen before. But yeah, for the first official season of this rebuild, finally, uh, we have Fultz starting at the point. Powell, George, and then I'm testing out right now Kawhi Leonard at power forward. I might switch it up. Uh, we'll see what, what happens, but I'm going to use that for now. Then we have Steven Adams at the five. Terrence Mann, like I said, at that six-man position. We have Zubac coming off the bench. We still have your boy Reggie Jackson and Otto Porter Jr. off the bench. Now, if you're asking me, this is a pretty, pretty nasty squad. Um, I think the shooting capability of this team is nice. In the starting lineup, the bench, though, is a little suspect. That's why we really needed to pick up a guy like Otto Porter Jr. to create some floor spacing. Let's see uh, at least how we do in the first little bit of simulation here. Oh, wow. Wow, we, we blow out the magic by 50 points. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Marco Fultz wanted to come back to Orlando and show what he could prove. Um, I do feel like even in real life, he's definitely the, the odd man out when it comes to Suggs and Cole Anthony. So definitely is sort of a, a pretty realistic trade if you're, if you're asking me. Taking a look halfway through the season, though, as well. Um, we are number one in the West, which is pretty nice. Would also kind of make sense with how, how deep this team is now. Even in real life, the team is super deep. We do have Portland, though, who uh, still have Damian Lillard, who sat the entirety of last season. Now coming to come back and sort of take revenge, and it looks like he's doing a pretty good job at that. Anything else really interesting? The Spurs are up there pretty high. <laughs> and, of course, the Warriors and Lakers are always dead last. I swear, 2K hates the Warriors. They hate the Lakers. They hate, they hate the Suns. It's pretty annoying. The second year here in Brooklyn, uh, Kawhi is actually the one to leave and not James Harden. I bet you weren't expecting that one. Uh, and the Boston Celtics are the number one team in the Eastern Conference. That's pretty interesting with 
think Zion is really the best bet here. I think the best way to guard Zion would probably be someone who's bigger than him. Kawhi Leonard's two inches shorter and um, probably not as strong either, so it's probably pretty bad. And even Norman Powell really isn't really producing the while he wanted to, so I mean, if we do lose this series, I'm probably going to trade Norman Powell. Okay, we end up winning. Oh, we actually winning pretty well, actually. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, Norman Powell is definitely playing a lot better this game, which made me happy. Actually, Paul George was the guy who actually kind of pooped the bed there. the bed there. And then Zion played a pretty good game, but wow. So we have the eight-seeded Toronto Raptors <laughs> facing them in the NBA championship. Definitely not expect that from happening. It looks like it's mostly just the, the typical Toronto Raptors team, so no offense to any Raptors fans out there. I don't think they match up very well against us, so do we sweep? Yeah, we do. Okay, wow, okay, well. Yeah, mission accomplished. Round of applause. Your boy, Jake Bowler, has won a title for LA. The LA Clippers, though, not the LA Lakers. Wow, okay, so Paul George actually wins finals MVP. That's pretty interesting. But like I said, this video is going to be a three-year rebuild, so I'm going into next season as well, trying to at least add another title to this team, because this is a little bit of an easier team to rebuild. Again, this is more like a retooling, a little bit more of a, of a tedious type of video, trying to really use my brain and trying to improve this team. And I think, honestly, picking up more car folds, which... If I'm being completely honest, isn't really the most unrealistic thing to happen. I think, again, with Suggs and Cole Anthony in, in Orlando, I think Mark Hill might be the guard guy out, so maybe they could snag a guy like this. Going to year number three, we have the same exact lineup. Again, I'm going to be keeping my eye on Norman Powell to see if maybe I can trade him if I have to. Actually, we actually have Zubak starting. I signed Eubanks uh, as a free agent because Steven Adams was digressing very poorly. He did not turned into a very good player at the end of that season, so I kind of just dropped him off, and then one of our developed players is actually doing pretty well with the Boston Junior, I think it's Brandon, Brandon Boston Junior was pretty good, so I actually put him in those the, the backup uh, guard spot right there, and I kept Otto Porter Junior, basically the same team, just a little bit of a mix mixing of the, of the rotation, coming into the end of this season as well. Ty Lue actually wins Coach of the Year, which is pretty nice. Uh, you can probably tell what that means. Yes, we do have the number one seed in the Western Conference. Paul George is absolutely balling out here. I think he's a 91 overall plus two because of how well we're playing. So that's always good to see those little added, 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 added bonuses. But yeah, we are the number one seed in the Western Conference. Eastern Conference, you have the Hornets and the two seed. <laughs> seed we have the Minnesota Timberwolves with Bradley Beal. Why is everyone passing around Bradley Beal? Come on guys. That's not fair. Well that's that, that's definitely a, a super team. But uh, looking at the Eastern play in. Okay so the Bucks and the Raptors are going up against on another matchup as they faced each other last year in the playoffs. Okay wow. Okay we actually missed out on facing against Memphis which is really good. Even though Phoenix is a, is a scary team in real life in 2K they aren't that bad of a team. And the Bucks didn't even make the playoffs. Oh my god. That's pretty wild. Um, then the Portland Trailblazers down there are facing off against the God Squad. <laughs> Timberwolves team. Uh, again, against Phoenix. I think, actually, if I looked, uh, Chris Paul and also LeBron James retired this season. So there's no LeBron, there's no Chris Paul. Devin Booker is a 92. And Aiden's a 90. So yeah, this team should be way better than what it is. I think I need to try to fix them in another one, in another one of these videos because for some reason 2K hates Phoenix. Um, we're playing pretty well. Terrence Mann is really, really living it up in that six-man role. Looks like he's really doing pretty well. And then, yeah, like I said, this Brandon Boston Jr. guy out of nowhere just started to develop by himself. And then I gave him like 14 minutes of playing time and he developed even faster. So that guy has a, has a lot of potential in 2K. is really trying to impress me in, in, in this video, it seems, because uh, he just took down the, the God Squad Timberwolves team with Bradley Beal and Russell. He also got Cat, and he took him down by himself. Wow, okay, big big ups to Damian Lillard and very much impressing me in this in this 2K simulation video. Then we have the Sixers and the Hawks going up against each other in a playoff series. It's pretty exciting. We have the Golden State Warriors, though, which I guess could be scary. Yeah, we're already down, down a game against them. The series is tied up 2-1, to 2-2. Two to two. Wow, Portland's in the conference finals. Oh, no. Oh, man. An overtime game. Klay Thompson. Oh, they have Valanciunas coming off the bench. They're definitely a very deep team as well, and also with Kuminga developing and stuff, yeah, that team could be really scary. Um, let's just cross our fingers, I guess. 
wasn't really doing the best. He is shooting pretty insane from the, the field goal range. Field goal range, the three-point range. Um, Terrence Mann played pretty well, but uh, yeah. Looks like uh, Clay Thompson. Oh yeah, oh my god. Clay Thompson regressed to an 82 overall. I, I think that's the worst I've ever seen regress in any 2K simulation ever. That's pretty terrible. Um, and then yeah, like I said, Damian Lillard is just absolutely destroying the, the 2K sim. Keenan Johnson, who's the rookie that Portland got in the trade between the Clippers in real life, um, developing very well in the 2K sim. We're actually very ironically facing them in the conference finals. Isn't this very ironic? Um, facing them in the playoffs two times in a row, but again, sweeping. <laughs> uh, that, that would definitely happen in real life as well. We have the, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers in the, in the conference final. I mean, the NBA championship. And, oh man, we might actually lose this. I mean, I'm not too worried about Garland, because again, we have a, a great perimeter defense, but we really don't have any bigs. I mean, we have Zubok, and then we have, what, Kawhi at the four, so I'm actually kind of scared about this matchup. Oh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, three to one. Okay, hey, that's, that's pretty good. Um, oh, okay, wow, so Kawhi Leonard didn't even win one finals MVP. That's pretty sad, actually, but, uh, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I really wanted to see how this Clipper team would play out. Now it's a lot deeper now with Norman Powell. Robert coming in real life would be very nice. And even going to next season, maybe some flexibility with some trades. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure again to comment down below. Maybe another team I should try to uh, rebuild or retool. And yeah, hopefully you guys have rest, uh, a good rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this video. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. And I'll see you again in my next video.